check underneath here real quick. Oh shoot, dude, there's a huge leak. This is how you check gaps. It's basically an SE right now. All right guys, so welcome to another video. We just got our antifreeze in for the last video, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and check for some leaks. Uh, fluid looks correct, maybe a little bit lower. Let's check underneath here real quick. Oh shoot, dude, there's a huge leak. Oh man. Dude, check it out, bro. Oh man. Is that antifreeze? <sighs> yup. All right guys, but on the real though, Baja Blast is great, but we got our hood in. I uh, got it at a junkyard, nice silver color. And here's the front bumper that I ordered. Nice, made in China here. It's an RS front bumper, body kit. So we're gonna put that on. We're gonna measure it all, fit it all up. And I also got some nice headlights uh, by VLAND. Uh, not sponsored, but if they want to, you know, uh, throw us some change here and there. Uh, so let's just get into it. Probably gonna set up a little time lapse and get everything ready. So let's do it. What's up guys, uh, just got my Ford Focus lines all done here. We got the hood lines, the fender lines, the headlight, everything lines up just perfectly. Uh, finally it was like a little, it was a, over a day working on it. This bumper was a big hassle because it was from China. So it was inverting in the middle and then outside it was kind of going out. But I ended up solving that by take, kind of disconnecting it from the front faceplate and then putting rivets where it needs to be. Everything here lines up, fenders and whatnot. We got a little bit of picking up here we have to do, but that basically gets solved right away when you just pull a little bit. What happened is during the accident, it got kind of pulled in. So with the fender, kind of that plastic back there, with it on, it'll go ahead and smoothen that thing out. Um, headlights now work. Uh, we got the LED DRLs and whatnot. And then I also put in some uh, H HID lights too. They look pretty good. Uh, a review probably on them coming a little bit later. At this point, what I'm gonna do is, since everything is good, I'm gonna take off the headlights, take off the black valances and the black lip off of this bumper, and then start sanding everything down. The hood, the bumper, both the fenders probably, the spoiler, because they got an RS spoiler, and then the rear bumper as well. So stay tuned for that. All right guys, just got some bond work done on this fender here. It's not perfect, but it's very near completion. So now we're just gonna go ahead and test it. Get a little test fit on the bumper here. All right, it'll kind of be like that. That's pretty good. Um, what I did basically is I dented out the metal piece that was on there before. I made it back to normal and I kind of hit it in just a little bit so I can slap a little bit of Bondo on it. That way it's going to be a smooth finish. But everything looks pretty good. Um, what we're going to do next is, probably for the next video, is when we're doing paint prep, is we're going to prime that surface down and sand it again, as well as the front and rear bumper. The front hood I'm probably going to sand out in this video, just because the rest of this stuff is quite simple. All I have to do is get some soap and water and scuff this down, also the rear bumper and the spoiler. But the hood here, gonna have to do a little bit more work because it is a clear finish coat on it so we're gonna have to um, sand it down with some probably some 400 or something like that so we'll figure that out in the meantime though my RS rear bumper came in so that's what we're gonna do back here so let's go get that all right guys so here is the new rear bumper it's got the LED that that lights up as well and the rear balance here is actually painted already so I'm not gonna do anything with that I am going to, however, probably grab some carbon fiber and wrap it with real carbon fiber and then epoxy it. That way it looks pretty good. So, that's that. 
Now let's take off the old SC bumper here. Boom! Alright guys, just got the ST bumper off. Anybody needs an ST bumper, this is for sale. It's complete, black, not even damaged. Look at this guy, let's, let's take this guy out in the sun here. Yeah, perfect. Hit me up. Boom! Selling as a combo. <laughs> Alright. All right guys, just got the bumper off. Now it's time for the RS. The hard part about taking off the bumper, well, the bumper wasn't hard, but the exhaust was because it was all rusted on there. So that's what took us most of the time, but now we're gonna get this bumper on. Ready? Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, perfect. That's actually good. Yeah. There you go. Alright guys, just got the RS bumper on as you can see. Fitment is pretty good. Had to have a little bit of cutting on that side. But overall, looks pretty good. Last step, taking off this dreaded pine. Alright, that's gone. We'll get an RS sign real quick. Check it out, fresh off the boat from China. Oh yeah, it smells Chinese. It smells like rice. Look at that. RS conversion kit complete. We are now done. All right guys, moving on to the next step. We're gonna take off this ST spoiler and then we gotta assemble this RS spoiler. It's because it's all in bits and pieces. Yep. So, let's get to that. Perfect. All right guys, so now we have our wing off. So now we can collect to our pile here of ST parts that anybody wants. Bumper, muffler, got the spoiler with this spoiler lip. And uh, and these things here. But I don't know, maybe I'm gonna put those back on. I don't know just yet, we'll see. All right, let's get to unwrapping this guy. Oh yeah. All right guys, it is assembled. Now let's go ahead and put it on this SC looking for focus. This is how you convert your SC to an RS. Yes sir. Boom. Hold that right there. Whoa. Oh, that's legit. Definitely an RS now, I mean, it says RS. All right guys, so we got the RS spoiler on. Fitment is looking great. Uh, we got the old spoiler here and we're gonna use these lifters. Um, so that's after we paint it, after we disassemble and paint it. But it's getting pretty late and we're going to end up sanding um, the hood and taking some of the bumper. Yeah, like the diffuser and the reflectors and whatnot. Take it all off for tomorrow's video and get it ready for paint for another time. Yep. So, so we'll see you then. 
All right, guys, it's the next day. Let's get this bread. Let's do it. All right, guys, just got the hood on this little stand here. We've got some 3M scotch pad, and we're just going to go ahead and scuff the outside here, or inside. All right, guys, just got this thing scuffed completely. Uh, it's looking real good. There's no shiny parts or anything. Now we're gonna flip it over, get a D8 with 320, and just go over the surface with it. All right, let's do it. Yo, that is looking pretty good. Dude, it turned out pretty well. There's a little bit of dents here and there. We gotta probably put a little bit of filler primer on it, but overall it's all good. Uh, these edges and whatnot, they still have a little bit of clear coat on them. So we're gonna grab some sandpaper and sand that. Um, but anyways, we managed to get a little bit of filler primer on this fender here, which had Bondo on it before. Uh, what we're gonna do is put the bumper into it and then fill it and sand it the right way. All right guys, that's a wrap for today's video. Make sure to stay tuned for part three where we're gonna be sanding the rest of the vehicle and also painting under the hood. Make sure to follow us on Instagram. It's at side.hustle.garage where you can get the inside scoop and exclusive behind the scenes on, on our build. Also, make sure to subscribe and if you liked this build, let us know down in the comments below. See you guys in the next one. Which one for the GTR? <laughs>